Hi, I'm Ed O'Malley from Velo Veta. We're making some final decisions now about how we're going to actually construct our shoe, like the construction of the carbon fiber sole. So we're going to do some benchmark analysis on other shoes and see how they do it. So there are a couple different ways that bike shoe manufacturers can make the carbon fiber soles for their shoes. Um, one way is just uh, a, one solid piece of carbon that's bent into the shape that you need. Um, and it's ba basically like one solid carbon plate. It's the same thickness all the way through. Uh, the other way is having uh, essentially two pieces of carbon, one on the bottom, one on the top, that form a cavity in the middle, and that cavity is filled with some sort of really lightweight material like a foam. And there are different reasons why a manufacturer might choose one way over another. Uh, and we are right now working out exactly what way we want to make the carbon fiber soles of our shoes. And so we decided to benchmark some competitors by cutting their shoes into pieces. If you ever need to change the hardware for your cleats in your shoe, this is how you do it. Uh, just don't cut the upper off first. It can be a little tricky to reach inside there and do this, but it can be done. So here, you can see the construction of the sole. The thickness of the material is a pretty uniform 2.6 millimeters, 2.6 millimeters, 2 millimeters. So pretty thin thin layer of carbon. So after all that, here is what we have left over from the shoe that we cut. And you can clearly see that it is a single layer of carbon. It's actually several layers all fused together, but it's one solid piece of carbon. Um, and you can make these nice little bumps and nooks and crannies and ridges, and these can either be used to hold the cleat hardware or to stiffen it, or to make cool looking air vents. Um, you, you have a lot of uh, freedom using this methodology to create some cool shapes. It's inexpensive to make. You can still have a high performance sole. Um, some manufacturers choose to go with the other method I talked about, the one where you have two layers of carbon with a, a lightweight material sandwiched in between them. There are advantages and disadvantages to using that method as well. Um, it can provide a lighter, stiffer sole than the other method. Uh, you are a little bit more limited in the shapes that you can make as long as you want to be able to afford to make this sole. Um, for us, it is actually advantageous for, for some shapes that we want to make, so we're really leaning towards that method right now. Uh, particularly um, having nice rounded edges on the outside. The previous method, the flat plate method, doesn't lend itself to making that kind of shape at all. Um, so this has been really interesting for me. I hope it's been interesting for you, and uh, see you next time.